Lyme disease is the most commonly vectored um, pathogen in the United States today. It is uh, very prominent um, on the East Coast, as well as the Midwest, and also in California. We started the Northeast Wildlife DNA Laboratory back in 2005 with the purpose of looking at diseases in wildlife and also investigating different types of uh, pathogens that are vectored by ticks. We looked at the prevalence of different pathogens in the ticks and we also looked at some of the reservoir hosts for Lyme disease, which includes the white-footed deer mouse. From the research that we've done, one of the students entered the business plan competition here at ESU saying that we could provide a, a little tick testing kit that an individual could remove a tick from themselves and then send it to the lab for further testing for identification as well as pathogen testing. So that business plan won first prize and from that we developed the actual kit itself. We entered into a licensing agreement with Garrett Hewitt International and they're the ones who will be doing the marketing for us and putting the kits together to distribute to right now 24 states uh, as well as um, possibly in Canada. The students that I've been working with at East Strasby University, both undergraduates as well as graduate students, come into the lab to learn techniques, learn things about pathogens, learn how to detect pathogens, whether it be in a, a black bear or in a black legged tick. And so they come in to learn the techniques and they have the passion and the enthusiasm to do research. The laboratory provides them with the facility and also with the environment uh, to do this type of work. Through the state system of higher education, we obtained a Keystone Innovation Grant, and that afforded us the ability to buy some of the equipment that we needed. And so without that help, without that grant, we really would not have been able to progress as far as we did with our knowledge on the state of the infection of ticks in Pennsylvania. Through the State Systems Technology Transfer Program and its partnership with the Penn State Research Foundation, we were able to license the tick testing kit and also to uh, trademark the logo for the kit as well. So they've been instrumental in helping us work through the process of getting those accomplished.